Hey guys, welcome to another Daydreams episode five. 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 Bit of a sad moment. The series is over. Simple. But yeah, it's the first five episode series I've ever done. Thank you for sticking around. Um, yeah, um, the car is done basically. Um, as far as the paint and the bodywork is concerned, couldn't help myself. Rolled it out in the light with the masking tape still on. And it looks good. I think you'll agree. It looks it looks wet. It looks like glass. Uh, couldn't be happier with the level of correction that I've achieved. And to be honest, at only a loss of about four microns, three four microns of clear. You know, if, and if it's something that you're gonna do every three to five years, trust me, you have more than enough. So what am I going to do in this video? There's another <laughs> whole session, so why are you here? So I was initially just going to clean some glass, like with a young glass cleaner, boom, done. But then I was looking at my supplies and I found that I had some leftover G-Technic um, glass polish and glass sealant. So I thought, you know, why not? I've come this far, so why not do it? But um, I was I was actually in the process of removing the masking tape when, when I found it, so I had to re-mask some of the places up. Not an issue, not an issue. Um, so yeah, I decided to do that. So the process again, so remember, glass is very, very, very hard, right? Compared to your paint, glass is ridiculously hard. So to polish that, you have to get the impurities off. Well, to get the impurities off, you have to polish it. So let me just show you the products. So these are the products. So this is the water repellent coating, and this is the glass polish. It's like a white chalky thing. Very good. Um, Unfortunately, at that time, the brand that I really like um, didn't have the glass sealant out at the time. So next time, uh, I'll probably still use their um, these, this polish because it's very good for getting that clean surface, so the sealant adheres well. Um, and then use the use the Yum Car glass sealant on top of that. And the process is the same, you follow it, but you have to be careful with it. Um, you don't heat up the glass too much because it can crack. Um, so, you know, just take your time, relatively slow setting. Use a fairly aggressive pad. I used the yellow pad and the polish, to be honest, and it, and it was fine. It, it got all the gunk and stuff off of it. And uh, then I was able to apply the sealer. Um, so I did that. And, uh, and, and and the results were good. I'm just gonna check my notes again, just in case I'm forgetting something. Um, yeah, that's it. Enjoy the last video. Uh, I hope you found this series helpful. If you like it, give me a like, give me a surprise, subscribe. Keeps me motivated <laughs> to produce more content. And uh, yeah, I hope you're finding this useful. Enjoy the daydream. Just getting the wax on. I must say it's looking really good. I've done this side. Just there's all of this defender. Um, the wing. Oh, the wing mirror. I need to. I didn't take the wax off of that. I don't want it to cure. I'm gonna do it now. Ooh, that was close. So the the wax that I'm using. As the first layer is the um, Adams Polishes Ceramic Paste Wax just for that durability and then I might do another coat of that uh, and after that I'll start applying the uh, waxes like um, Young Wax, the Young Paste Wax um, to give it that depth and more shine if possible but yeah it's uh, it's looking fantastic. I mean, that you can see it from here. The paint looks wet, so this has not been a wasted effort. And the lift has really helped because I've hardly had to do any any work with my back bend. 
so that's been that's been a joy really so I've done it up to here just here this body line here and next I'm gonna apply wax to the front bumper and the fender on this side and then take it off the front bumper apply it to the door take it off the fender etc so that's that's the process of work that I go through time to do a time lapse enjoy it I just want to do the bottom half of the car first then I can get the car down and I can start working on the top area and uh, I'm very tempted to take the masking tape off after I waxed it but no I'll do another coat and then uh, I'll take the take the uh, take the um, masking tape off because it does take a lot of time to do so yeah time to do a time lapse
Hello everyone. Uh, clean that up a bit. So today is what will be probably the final day cleaning the Mustang up. Um, doing the interior today, so not much to it really. Um, taking out all the all grease. Let me show you guys actually. Got it. Just doing a good quick detail. Okay. Just a good clean. Yeah, just get it clean, clean the steering wheel, everything basically, so it's nice and fresh when I get back to it. Just like there, um, fairly happy with it for the amount of work that I put in. Um, yeah, nice and clean, steering wheel clean, all in there, all the glass is nice and clean. The back, and if you've got that windscreen on the rear, you know how much a pain that is. So I can never get it perfect. I think I got it pretty good right now, but it's a struggle. But yeah, apart from that, but well. Everything else nice and nice and clean. This car is ready to go into winter storage now. So that's it, um, I've got a list of things I want to go over um, because this series has ended. Again, I hope after watching this you feel like you can do this process yourself and are willing to build capability. Now capability is a very key word around my household and around me actually. Why, why, why do you want to build capability? Well, first of all, doing something yourself, you know you will take great care of it and you know that 
the treatment that's done on your car is to your acceptance basically to your standards it may not be perfect right but we've already decided that we are not going for perfection because you know it all goes into the whole you know diminishing returns with the amount of effort money and time that you have to expend it's like um it's like um you know it's easy to get the first 80 percent right let's say if you have to spend 10 hours to get 80 percent great right to get that extra 20 you know you would have to start looking at spending another 15 on top of those 10 right is it worth it is it worth it you know in reality who is going to go at a meet and this is why people prepare their cars right who is gonna go at a meet and be like "Ooh, look look at this little hand nah you know you shouldn't care what people are saying um so 80 percent 85 percent correction is is my limit in terms of what i want and then to be honest based on the fact that if you start off with a good car that you've used two bucket method on trust me that is a very very good correction okay um so that's one of the things i wanted to say another thing i wanted to say i'm gonna consult my notes here um is that remember to do an ipa wipe down of the car before you apply a sealant and then once you've applied it then you can apply the wax on top now you don't have to apply a sealant that's totally up to you you can just go straight onto a wax it can be any wax any decent wax right and remember waxing a car is not an easy process spend the money get a good quality wax which is durable right durable and then you know top it up over time and it should be okay i didn't go for two coats i just went for one in the end because i just thought to myself that the car's going to be parked up for the next three months and whether the car is being driven or not your wax is still breaking down in its protection that's why they have a top limit that's why they have a bottom limit so as soon as you start applying the wax even if the car sits there it's breaking down so why apply two coats it makes no sense so i didn't do it um the polishes so again i would wholeheartedly wouldn't even recommend anyone else apart from menzena menzena are very very good they know what they're doing and for beginners beginners and amateurs like myself and yourself if you're in a beginner or a beginner or an amateur um you know the numbering system so helpful so helpful um so definitely use that um it, it will help you in selecting your method correctly um and it's not just selecting it correctly it's a assurance that you're doing it right just having the numbers to back things up and now what you can also get is you can also get a one-step polish so um, and for those, although I don't have one, to be honest, the one that I've been looking at is the Rupes Uno Protect. Based on what I've read and the fact that it has a built-in sealer. So once you've polished your car, it takes a step out completely. You've already sealed it as well. So all you have to do is apply wax. Remember, time is critical uh, if the car is your daily and you don't have a lot of it, right? The wife needs attention, the kids need attention, the cats need attention, whatever, right? Whatever, whatever needs attention in your life, you need to give them time to. Um, so yeah, so Uno Protect as a single step is good. And um, Manzana have it as well, but from what I've read and from what I've seen um, from various content providers is that the Uno Protect seems to have a little bit more X, you know, I just had a little bit more. I don't know what it is, uh, but it has it, right? And I like it. <laughs> so, so there's there's that. But there's, again, there's nothing wrong with Manzana as well. But people have said that it's a bit finicky to work with, um, so maybe not that great for a beginner. The only problem with the single step polishes is that, you know, if you're leaving the sealer on, you're not gonna do an IPA. What? wipe down 
sorry, I've just had something to eat. So you're not gonna have an IPA wipe down, so you're not gonna get a really accurate view of what sort of correction you're using. Yes, you can do, uh, while during your method selection, you could correct, do an IPA wipe down to see how much correction you're getting. But for me, nothing sort of surpasses doing a section, IPA wipe down, getting a light on it and being happy. So those are my tips pretty much. Let me just see if I've got anything else on my list. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, so all in all, it took me about five days uh, to do the whole car. Um, was it worth it? That's one of the things I always like to like to sort of add. <sighs> was it worth it? Was it worth spending five days on my car, polishing it, looking at, making it look like, you know, that? Um, I'm not gonna say it was, and I'm not gonna say it wasn't. Um, it's just one of those things which I've done, and I stepped back and I was, I was satisfied. You know, I wasn't like, yes, I should do this like next year. No. <laughs> Um, if you're doing it next year, then there's something wrong with your washing technique, but it is, it is satisfactory um, to get the paint quality back up. There is a visible difference. There is a noticeable difference in the quality of the paint. It makes washing the car easier. So that's a positive in itself. Um, you know, I mean, you've seen the car. The problem with white is it doesn't show up that well on camera, but in person there is definitely definitely a difference and uh, so yeah I would say um, yeah it was it was worth it I am satisfactory such I, I the result is satisfactory and I am okay with it um, was it five days super well spent where I got more than the amount of effort I put in no no I I got what I put in Right, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that yeah, I spent five days on it and the result is perfect, and show you one or two cuts from a panel, you know, of a of a good section, and then just be like, yeah, the whole car is like that. The whole car is not like that, right? Because your car is not proportionately damaged in terms of what your right door is isn't the same damage on your left door, right? So I I yeah, I, I start going on a rent. I take this like with a pinch of salt with regards to what the whole detailing community does. Everything has to be perfect and everything has to be anal. If, if that's your goal, this is not the series for you. This is not the guy for you, right? Um, you know, whatever. And if you get 100% correction, you know, well done um, for the first wash. And then, you know, it won't be 100%. Um, so, I, I, I just, my, my views are very clear on 100% corrections, they're not worth it. Um, lastly, um, yeah, once you have done this, you know, again, it will highlight the importance of good washing technique and you will know whether you washed your car well, you know, you will know if the odd time you had a little bit of a cheat day where you just you said like, you know, the car looks fairly clean, I'll just use one bucket. You know, you'll know. You'll know how often you've done that when you start looking at the paint. And, uh, you know, after you spend this amount of time bringing it up, maybe it will encourage you to use the two bucket method more often and take a bit more care. And um, with all of this, with this whole five series episode, the key you have to remember is prevention is better than the cure. Ideally, in an ideal world, you don't want to do this. You, sh you shouldn't do this, right? But we don't live in an ideal world. We don't live in a perfect world. There will always be marks, a little bit of, you know, from washing or whatever, as soon as you have contact on the car. And this just makes sure that the car still looks new, um, no matter what's, what its age. It just, it just brings it back up to that factory paint, if not better. Um, uh, and I certainly found that to be the case. If you found this useful, if you like my rants, um, I'm gonna create a new TV series. Uh, well, not a TV series, I'm gonna create a new YouTube series. It's going to be called Perspectives. 
if there are any topics that you would like me to discuss on the series i've got a list of about eight or nine um, and you would like me to offer views or you would like to listen to my views on perspectives and um, that's the series and that's the place to do it i'm quite looking forward to it um, the plan is to have some of my friends in it as well and we can talk about stuff and see whether you guys agree or not uh, remember this is not a channel for those guys who live in la la land with you know high 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 expectations which are unrealistic and which are and they only show like garage queens or whatever and this is a channel for guys who drive their car who daily their car and it sets up uh, expectations based on that level right um so yeah hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe lots more to come thank you very much